Hello, so today I'm going to be talking about what organoids are, or mini organs. And so these are a smaller and simpler version of a tissue, such as you know, your brain, your heart, or your lung, that's grown in three dimensions. They mimic the organs that are present in your body. These mini organs are created using a special type of cell called stem cells. These cells are special because they can grow into many different cell types that are present in the body, such as a muscle, brain, or skin cell. Scientists can take stem cells and give them specific cues by adding different things to them that then tells the stem cells what type of cell to grow into. This is how scientists create different types of these organoids. The picture at the right shows some examples of the different types of organoids that scientists have created. Uh, scientists have grown brain organoids, lung, stomach, intestinal, liver, and even eye, heart, and kidney organs. These mini organoids are very useful to help study development and to model diseases. Uh, for studying development, these mini organs allow scientists to understand how an organ like the brain grows from you know, single cells until it is full sized, which would be very difficult to do without access to these mini organs. They are also, also useful to study how diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's occur in the brain from before the disease begins until the disease is fully present in the brain. With this, scientists can see how the brain is different when it is healthy versus when it has a disease, which this can then be used to create treatments in order to cure these diseases. Our research in the MBM program focuses on using these mini organs to study brain development and diseases that occur in the brain. Thank you all for listening.